Up next, we have Bimbola Osaje. Bimbola is a professional property entrepreneur and founder of the Property Investment Club. The investment club, also known as Be Our Own Bank, aims to help the black community build wealth by collectively pooling resources together and investing in properties. She's a joint venture queen and is passionate about advocating for more investment partnerships in the black community. Today on the Richer Woman Festival, Bimbola will be speaking to us on growing your bag, investing in real estate in the UK. So for those who have Jaffa plans, sit tight and welcome Ms. Bimbola. Cool. Thank you. Thanks for that. Okay. So for the Jaffa crew, and, and not just for the Jaffa crew, actually, for those that are actually based anywhere in the world that want to invest in the UK market, this is for you. Um, so today I'll be talking about how to invest in real estate in the United Kingdom. Um, so a bit of an introduction about myself. I can't project my slide. Um, so you might see me look into the side very quickly. It's just me going through my slides. Um, so my name is Bimbala Osaige. I'm a serial property investor. I call myself serial because ever since I learned the art of investing, I've been addicted to it. Um, I bought my first property in 2005, which is about 18 years ago. So I've got an 18 years experience in property investment here in the UK. I do this full time now. Um, but prior to this, I worked in investment banking as a market risk analyst um, in the city of London. Um, aside from investing in property, I've also founded an investment club here in the United Kingdom called Be Our Own Bank. The goal of Be Our Own Bank is that one day we will be a Black-owned bank here in the UK. So you've heard it from me first. Uh, I'm very much about property. I train people on how to get started. I coach, I mentor. Um, I'm also a host of a property podcast called Propcast. Um, with a colleague of mine, where we talk about our experiences um, in properties and just share tips and knowledge. Uh, I'm a joint venture advocate, um, joint venture advocate, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in my session today, but I'm all about helping people come together to, to, to raise, um, to invest and to make money together. And I think one of our speakers earlier had mentioned that um, over the last 18 months to 20 months, I've raised about two million pounds in cash literally in 10,000, 12, 5,000, 30,000 from indi different individuals to invest in um, properties. Um, I do have a mixed portfolio, uh, which includes family-led commercial, uh, refurbishment, joint ventures, and so on and so forth. I am currently widowed with four children that I refer to as the fantastic four. So this is very much something that is, that is um, Close to my heart, um, women being able to stand on their own two feet, women you know, having their own money. Uh, and that's obviously helped me on my journey. And then now that I'm widowed, it's, you know, it's one of the things that I'm so thankful to God for. Okay. Um, why does the woman need to invest? Um, we've talked a bit about this earlier, but I'm just going to touch on a couple of points as well, just so that it gets into our minds. Uh, we, talk, we As women, we worry, we're always thinking, we're very anxious. And, you know, a woman that invests reduces her worry and anxiety levels, making her feel in control of her finances. Um, statistics have shown that women actually live longer than their, ma their male spouses. Uh, I'm a living testament of that. Uh, we, we generally live longer than our men, which means we would need a lot of money in retirement. We need to have invested in order to be able to reap those um, that funded our retirement age. Uh, we can actually start uh, and get into passive income uh, without much effort. Um, women are entrepreneurs. A lot of women that I know are into everything. We have the ability to do so much. So having an investing is another way for us to grow our passive income. There is an obvious gap um, between genders, an obvious income gap. I think somebody mentioned that earlier as well. Uh, and in order for us to fill that gap, investing is a way of doing that. And one of the reasons, which is my last point that I totally, totally stand by is that a man is not a financial plan. So every woman, whether you're married, whether you're single, widowed, whatever your circumstances are, you need to have a solid financial plan that is basically your plan 
not on somebody else. Of, of course, if you have a great man or a great spouse or inheritance or whatever, that's amazing. But you as a woman, you need to very much know and be in control of your finances. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is, yes, we've talked about the need for a woman to invest, but why should a woman invest in real estate? You know, there's so many asset classes that we can invest in. Uh, real estate for me is, it trumps everything. And why real estate? Um, women are generally uh, more risk averse. Um, women are generally more risk averse when it comes to all sorts of different asset classes, the most secure and the one that takes the least amount of risk in comparison to the others is properties, real estate. So women are generally more risk averse, which means property or real estate, as I would interchange that as I talk, is what is very suited to women. Uh, women are long-term thinkers. We think about everything. You know, I can sit here and tell you all my thoughts and my plans for the next five years and 10 years when my children grow up and so on and so on. And in fact, it's something that we were, you know, is inherently inside of us. We think about long-term, we think about the future. A lot of the time when you see a man and a woman and they're having issues, the woman is the man is thinking about now the woman is thinking about the future so because we are generally long-term thinkers real estate is a long-term goal it's a long-term investment plan so women are real um, long-term thinkers so real estate will provide that long-term security that you're looking for looking for another reason why i think women should be interested in real estate is because we actually possess a lot of skills like we're very multi-skilled which are, and these are skills that are very much needed in the real estate game skills like negotiating we are we are major beautiful negotiators and we're very and super organized uh, we have the ability to manage all sorts of different relationships we are good communicators and we have the ability to multitask those are all the different skills that would come into play when it comes to real estate um so we're very suited for that. Uh, we can leverage real estate as another income stream. I know a lot of women that are into that have at least five, six, seven. In fact, the Bible says we should have at least seven income streams. So I know a lot of people that have different income streams. Real estate is certainly one that we can add on to that. And of course, as we heard from the last speaker about building generational wealth, uh, when it comes to real estate, that is the core, that is the basis, that is the foundation of generational wealth. You know, we we think about our children, we think about our, our nephews, our nieces, our parents, you know, we're always thinking about the future and how best to build a, a future um, other than in real estate. Um, you know, we, we, you know, um, I don't know any wealthy person in the world who isn't invested in real estate. Um, in order for you to pass what from generation to generation, Real estate is the one key. In fact, it trumps everything as far as I'm concerned. So as women, we need to be very much interested in, um, in, in investing in properties or in real estate. Now, I'm based in the UK. Uh, and I obviously love other countries, but I have seen um, and I've looked at different countries. I mean, not, not a lot, but just a few. But in the in the ones that I've looked at, I feel like in the UK, UK is such a solid market when it comes to property. And today I want to convince you guys, you ladies, to bring your money into the UK. I mean, we're going to tax it a little bit, but, you know, <laughs> you will get your reward as well. So why, why the United Kingdom? Um, as we know, the world right now, I feel is in some sort of crazy recession or crazy turmoil. Everywhere is expensive. The cost of living has gone up. I don't even know how a lot of us are managing right now. However, the United Kingdom still proves to be a thriving and a stable economy.